Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is the Raptor, and welcome back to Who'd Win and Why. And this time we got a battle of the two man animals. We got man bat going up against man wolf. Now, before I move on, I just want to say one thing that you've probably already noticed. I have a whole freaking bed behind me right now. And I know I told you guys last episode that there wasn't going to be in any more, like, environment changes. Like, I actually am in the, in the same spot that I was last episode, but then now there's a bed behind me. And I already told you guys there wasn't going to be any more changes. I ended up completely lying to you guys because what happened is that I decided to film the next episode, which is Spider-Man 299 versus Batman Beyond. I decided to film that one before this one. And th that was before the bed came in. So basically what you're going to see is that the last episode ha had no bed. This one does. Then the next one won't. And everything else after that will. So it's going to like be moving around a lot. Like from your perspective, it's going to be like it's in and out and in and out. So just try to ignore it as best you can. Um, let's just, just get right into the episode. And yes, there will be some changes, but just try to ignore it. Um, yeah, I guess that's really all I have to say. So let's get right into the episode. So who would win and why? Let's find out. So I had Man Bat on a season two, was it? I think a season two episode when he fought the lizard. Um, but I'm going to go over everything again, just in case you know you're new. If you are, hey guys, um, nice to see you. Um, but even if you're not, you know, you might want a refresher on what Man Bat can do. So let's get into it. So Man Bat is obviously extremely strong. Um, I think what we've seen that Man Bat can do is lift about two cars. And that might not even be his maximum strength. We've just seen him lift about that weight. And since an average car can weigh around 3,100 pounds, Pounds, we're looking at about he could maybe lift like over three tons to maybe even about like just under four tons which is pretty insane when you think about it um he, and, and yeah and in terms with speed um running speed is a bit hard to say but when it comes to flying speed since he can also fly um he can i believe fly faster than a hawk so it's been theorized that he can fly at around 70 miles per hour um or you know like about about a bit over 100 kilometers an hour um, but when, you know, it might not be his maximum speed. That's just a theory. He might even be able to go faster. I don't want to make any assumptions saying like, oh, we can go like a hundred miles per hour. Like, I don't want to go like that far saying like he can go like a lot over, but just saying that that is a speed that we, that we may have seen him gone at before. Um, but it might be different. It might even be more. Um, when it comes to durability, durability, again, is a bit hard to call because I don't really have any, like, real set numbers for it. Um, however, Mamad does have a pretty good healing factor. He can heal, like, um, cuts and, like, deadly injuries in a few seconds, which obviously isn't to the same level as Wolverine's, but it's still very impressive. You know, you can heal something like that in just a few seconds. That's pretty impressive. Um, what else does Mamad have? Mamad also has this thing of, like, sonar, so something like that. It's a bit hard to explain. It's just, like, it allows him to, like, navigate navigate a bit better, I think, something like that. Um, so he has his own version of sonar, which does help when it comes to stuff like that. Um, he also has his own claws and teeth, which are able to cut through a regular human with very little effort, like with ease. Uh, what else can Man Bat do? Um, I've said a healing factor. Uh, man, why? So yeah, like I already said, he can fly. He can um, fly pretty high. I'm not exactly sure how high, but again, it's around um, at maybe at least 70 miles per hour. Um, again, that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, why do I always blank in the, at these times? Um, um, I Another thing I'm, I should say about both of these characters that I'm not going to give their, them their intelligences, you know, like the real name for Manbat is Dr. Kirk Langstrom and he became the Manbat because I think he was trying to, um, uh, now I forget why, um, but he basically, he took a serum that turned him into Manbat, um, but he, at the, at the beginning, he was able to control it, now he's not able to, um, and with Man-Wolf, his real name is John Jameson, he's actually, I think, the son of J. Jonah Jameson, and again, I don't exactly remember, it's, it's escaping me at the moment, how he turned into Man-Wolf, but he rarely is able to control it, so that's one reason why I'm not giving them their, um, intelligences, just because, generally, they're not able to have them, they don't have them most of the time, and the other reason is because if they don't have their intelligences, they're not really fighting at their max, you know, like, they're not as feral, which makes it really hard for me to actually figure out who would win, because I'm not sure how much they'd actually be holding back, but when they don't have their intelligences, it's just they're fighting as best they can, it's just easier for me, and I think it's a much cooler fight. Um, so when it comes to intelligence with Manbat, again, if he had um, Kirk Langstrom's intelligence, he would be smart, um, but, you know, he's not too smart, he is pretty dumb and can be outsmarted by a smart opponent, but it just makes him, it, it, he's, he's basically losing control, he doesn't hold back with anything, he ju it just makes him a lot more deadly. So I think that's really all I have to say about Man Bat. I said, like, strength, speed, durability. Um, he also does have superhuman stamina, which does help with the um, with the healing factor. But now let's move on to Man Wolf. So Man Wolf, not many people know who Man Wolf is. As I said, Man Wolf is the son of J. Jonah Jameson. And again, it's just completely escaped me at the moment. He turned into Man Wolf. And most of the time, Man Wolf does not um, have the uh, intelligence that J. Jonah... That, that, 
John Jameson has. So again, kind of like Man Bat, he has like Man Bat level intelligence. He's not too smart. He's just more so feral. Um, Man Bat's strength, speed, and durability, I believe they all kind, or at least strength, they all kind of um, align with how like how full the moon is. I believe at best with a full moon, um, man, a man wolf can lift uh, about four tons, which like I said with Man Bat is very impressive. Um, when it comes to speed, he's not nearly as fast as Spider-Man, but he's still able to keep up with him and he's still able to pose a threat to him. So that's very impressive as well. Um, durability, again, kind of like Man Bat, it's very hard to, um, to figure out how durable this guy actually is because he, um, again, there's no numbers. Um, but like Man Bat, he can take like, um, heavy impact and get up with it without really any effort. You know, he, he can, um, his stamina and durability is still pretty high compared to a normal human. Um, he also, like a wolf, does have heightened senses like, um, smell and hearing and, um, sight. Uh, what else? He also has superhuman stamina, um, and superhuman reflexes as well. Um, what else? I think, um, uh, what else? He also does have claws and fangs, which, um, which again, they do, they do help. They, um, they do, um, they, I think they can hurt Spider-Man, even though Spider-Man can't heal from them. They can, they are strong enough to hurt Spider-Man and can, like, I believe even, like, bend and, like, maybe even, like, cut through certain, um, materials such as, like, some metals and maybe even cinder blocks. So that's very tough claws and also very strong. Uh, what else? I, I feel like I'm always missing something when I, when I start recording. Um, but I really think that's mostly it. Um, if J if John Jameson did have his intelligence or his memory, I guess, then he would be a much better fighter because John Jameson does have some combat training. Um, but considering he's completely out of control, that doesn't really do anything. That doesn't help him in really any way. Um, he's just a, ba he's basically like a feral wolf with a high level of strength, speed, and durability, higher than a regular wolf. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for these two. Now, trying to figure out who would win in a fight between these two was actually kind of tough. Um, originally, I'll just say this right now, and this doesn't, I don't want you to think about, like, like, what I'm about to say, I don't want you to think, like, oh, this means I, I meant, th I'm, this means I'm gonna say this person's gonna win, or this means I'm gonna say this person's gonna win, but originally, when I first saw this idea, I thought Man-Wolf was gonna win, and the reason for that is kind of the same reason why I said for Lizard versus Man-Bat, um, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that, um, episode, that's a season two episode, but one of the main reasons why I said Lizard would win was because Lizard just has a lot more experience actually going head-to-head -head with a brawler, Spider-Man, and Man Man Bat doesn't have that much experience doing that, you know? He, um... He, he doesn't, like, fight Batman, like, fist to fist a lot. Mostly what Batman does is he has to, like... Um, plan a lot, and then he uses a lot of gadgets, and he tries to outsmart him in order to beat him, and that's generally what happens. Man Bat doesn't have a lot of experience actually fighting with his brute strength. So when you when you pit, and this is the same thing with a lot of Spider-Man versus Batman debates. When you have it's like Spider-Man characters, Spider-Man characters they actually physically fight. Spider-Man fights characters on a daily basis who are much who are sometimes a lot of the time actually stronger than him. So that means those villains have a lot of experience actually fighting Spider-Man, fighting characters that like actually punch you, you know? Whereas with Batman, you know, there are, there are some exceptions like Man Bat and Killer Croc, but most of Batman's villains are like, they are just, they're geniuses, you know? They're like, they're brainiacs, and Batman has to like outsmart them or get through like puzzles or something like that in order to actually win, in order to beat them. And as soon as he starts getting close to them, they're kind of toast. Um, and even with Man Bat and Killer Croc, you know, they don't have a lot of experience. They don't have the experience like Lizard or, you know, another Spider-Man villain like Green Goblin, you know, that they have like actually fighting someone fist to fist. So when I first thought of this fight, I thought, you know, oh my God, you know, Man Wolf's going to win because it's just going to be the same thing as I said before. But looking into it, I'm actually going to give this one to Man Bat, and I was surprised by that. Um, but I'm also pretty happy about that, because Man Bat is actually one of my favorite Batman villains. I know that there are a lot of good ones out there, but Man Bat is actually one I really like, and I honestly couldn't care less about Man Wolf. Like, I, like he is an underrated character, to be honest, because, you know, like, he doesn't get the attention he really deserves, but I still, he still doesn't appeal to me as much as, um, Man Bat does. And... Some of you guys might be wondering, well, why do you think Man Bat would win? Well, let me just compare things for a second. 
when we're talking about strength, if we're talking about like the the full moon and stuff like that, when um when Man Wolf has like um when when he can lift about four tons, I'm still thinking that that's probably a bit stronger than what Man Bat can do because even like saying that it can lift like just under four tons with the whole car thing is even a bit lowballing it. Even if I'm saying that like oh maybe he could lift even more, but there's one thing you have to remember: Man Wolf can only can lift about four tons when the moon is full, and as we all know with like this whole blue moon thing, it's um it's rare to see two full moons in a month. So more times than not, Man Bat is actually probably does have the slight strength advantage over Man Wolf. And when we're talking about speed, again, I'm not sure how fast Man Wolf is. I know we can keep up with Spider Man. He might even be faster than the 70 miles per hour that I believe um, Man Bat could travel at. Um, however, um, Man Bat is still more versatile than him. He d he can still fly, and when he's flying, he can get out of reach from Man Bat, which allows him to heal quicker. And even though Man, Man Wolf does have a healing factor, which I didn't actually mention in the um, analysis portion. Um, Manbats is still much better from what I've gathered. Manbat can like heal like near instantaneously, like in a few seconds. Okay, that's not instantaneously at all, um, but it's still just a few seconds. And Manwolf, from what I've from what I've seen, can heal from a gunshot wound in about a month. And some of you might be thinking, well, that's amazing, you know? Like, how do you? But but here's here's the thing. You remember Hawkeye? If you've seen the Green Arrow versus Hawkeye death battle, you knew that what Boomstick said was like, oh my god, that was like a hundred bullets. It obviously wasn't a hundred bullets, but you remember when it was like maybe like twenty twenty five bullets that were like shot at Hawkeye, and Wiz said that Hawkeye. I made a complete recovery within six weeks. Now, again, that, that's supposed to be like a very impressive feat. But when you think about it, like, it took um, Manwolf roughly two-thirds of the time to heal that much, to heal that much, but only from one gunshot wound. Only from one, when Hawkeye had like 25 or 20 maybe. So when you really think about it, when you think about like what a normal human has been able to do impressively, that's probably not as good a feat as you think of it, uh, when you think for um, someone who's apparently supposed to be able to heal really fast. Um, so honestly, from what I've seen, Maybe, like, I don't think, like, um, Man Bat would be able to heal, like, a bullet instantaneously, but he's still able to heal probably quicker than, um, Man Wolf can do, which, which also brings his stamina level probably higher than Man Wolf's as well. Um, he's probably able to go longer without tiring than Man Wolf, than Man Wolf is. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that Man Bat's teeth are actually used to suck the blood out of other animals in order to, um, get stronger. So even if I do go with the whole full moon thing that maybe, um, Man Wolf is stronger than Man Bat, even though most of the time Man Bat's actually probably stronger. Um, if he sucks his blood, not only does this weaken Man Wolf, but it also strengthens Man Bat. So while Man Wolf might be able to um, outrun him, he's still going to have to fight him at one point, in which case, um, even if Man Bat does feel like, oh my god, I'm getting tired or something, he can suck the blood out of Man Wolf, and it's not going to be too hard to catch up to him, in my opinion. Again, 70 miles per hour, it's probably faster than that. Um, again, with dur with durability, again, like I said, like I don't have the numbers. It's too hard to actually figure out um, who would win. They can both survive. Im they can both survive impact, and they can both um, get get up from it pretty quickly. But again, just with the whole stamina and healing thing, I'd probably have to give that one to Man Bat. And also, Man Bat is just much so much bigger than um, than Man Wolf as well. I think Man Wolf is about like just over six feet. Um, he's taller than Spider-Man, but not by too much. And I think like Man Man Bat is like a terrifying seven foot four. So that's that's pretty big. And I know that does that doesn't give such like a big advantage of really any sense, but it's still something that um that I think is worth mentioning. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Um, when it, if if we were like okay, another thing. Um, some of you might be wondering. Well, you were just talking about the beginning how you know Man Wolf is like he's so much um. Like, he, he fights a lot more, you know, than Manbat does. Well, two things that I have to say for that. One of them is that Manbat has been along, has been around longer than Manwolf has, I believe, at least by a bit, which means that Manwolf really doesn't have that much experience actually going head-to-head -head with Spider-Man. Like, he does have experience doing it, but not as much as, like, someone like the Green Gob, sorry, the Green Goblin or Venom. And Manbat, um... If we're talking like Manbat who does not have his intelligence, Manbat is not holding back at all. He doesn't have a lot he doesn't have as much experience actually doing it, but he again, he's still not holding back. He's still going to use his strength that he has to his advantage as most as as best he can. And if we're talking about like a human mind in like a a, a gigantic bat body, obviously you're not going to have the um you're not going to have, like, the, the same killer instinct. Which also brings me, if we were including their intelligences, this might have been a completely different story. Because while um, Kirk V. Langstrom is, act, is um, very um, uh, smart, he still won't have, like, the same instinct that, that Man Bat without the intelligence has. And like I said, John Jameson is actually a pretty good hand-to-hand -hand fighter. But just in, like, a duel to the death, like, both of them are extremely feral, 
I just think Manbat has the advantage in most areas. Really, the biggest advantage that I see Manwolf having over Manbat is speed. Um, but even then, I just feel that he would be able to weaken um, Manwolf, as Manwolf is probably easier to tire, and he could probably just suck the blood fairly easily. And not to mention that even if um, Manbat does feel that like he might be losing a bit, when he flies up, he, that gives him time to heal, which is something that even though Manbat, Manwolf is fast, it doesn't give him the same opportunity to do so. So, in my opinion, the winner is Manbat. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please comment down below everything you thought. Like, did you like? Did I miss something in my research? Did I get something wrong? Do you think that like uh, maybe Manwolf would win? If you do, please comment down below because I really want to know. Um, if you like this episode, please give me a like. I always appreciate the likes. That always just makes my day. But you know what would make my day even more? Subscribing. If you could subscribe to my channel, no, no, you don't have to subscribe. But if you could subscribe to my channel, that would honestly be so great that we could make the series better. And I know that you guys want to watch it. You know, like if I know you guys want to watch watch me talk about this stuff like I know I don't like animate stuff like death battle but if you guys actually like this then you know hit that subscribe button it will make my day and it will make me want to make more and it'll allow you guys to watch more and it would also just really help the channel out and would help it grow um so if you could subscribe thanks guys if you could like thanks guys comment down everything below thank you guys so much um so yeah guys that's really all I have to say um that was my video man bat versus man wolf and next time on hoodwin and why we got a battle of the futuristic heroes we got spider-man 2099 going up against batman beyond See you all then.